Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Yeah, I just kicked a puppy. I just kicked a puppy. Poor puppy. Anyway, good morning to you guys. Today is Saturday. A lot going on in the day by day. Farm char chores are done. Actually, I don't know if chores are done. Horses are out. Chores are probably not done. I'll be doing that later. Um, today, we are working on bringing our horses home. Today is also the first day of our snack system we have um two different buckets this is sophie's she gets two a fruit and a vegetable and then a junky snack and these will be like cookies and other junky stuff junkier than this even as time goes on but i want them to get into the habit of eating two healthy snacks blueberries and carrots cucumbers and raspberries they're two totally different kids uh, i also have some spinach dip that they'll be able to use for their veggie but that's going to go in the fridge if you didn't watch the last video where i explained our bucket system it is where the girls are going to have this whole bucket of snacks all day they'll have breakfast lunch and supper but then these are their snacks it's going to hopefully teach us how to monitor what we eat during the day at least some of us so they can eat uh, they have to eat their two healthy snacks first before they eat their junky snack. They can eat it whenever they want throughout the day, but once it's done, it's done. Yeah, that's it. That's our that's our snack system, you guys. I'm excited. The girls are already here trying to eat it for breakfast. Sophie is here choosing snack number one of the day, and this is good. I know. I love cucumbers. I love carrots. I love, oh wait, get a bowl. No double dipping. It, we're in a virus. It doesn't matter. Get a bowl. Get a little yeah. container and put your dip in it. That's what I did last night. You should brush your hair, Missy. Self-isolation does not mean... To break. The break does not mean going dirty. You can stay in your pajamas all day. These are not shit. Look at always around me surrounding me baby puppies anyway we got a chance to join our premiere last night that was so fun i had so much fun watching her video with you guys um if you guys don't know gabby got a border collie puppy for her birthday It, it was just born not long ago, so we haven't got it yet. And I told a little bit of a story about this dog that we used to have way, like, 20 years ago. We had this dog. It was the first dog Sam and I ever got together. Her name was Chemo, and she died of old age about maybe six years ago. She um, was pretty much blind and deaf and was really failing when we decided to put her down. Um, anyway, I want to show you her. So this is her. She was a... Uh, Collie Poodle Cross, if you can believe that. She was a, a Collie Poodle Cross. Her name was Kimosabi, and she was Sam's dog, and she was the love of Sam's life. She was really similar in energy level as um, a Border Collie would be, and she was so much fun. That's one of the things I'm so excited about, about getting Gabby's puppy, is the amount of exercise and fun things we're going to get to do with her. I'm excited to, like, play with her and let her roam this whole property. Um, our other dog, we taught her to play soccer, and literally we would go outside because we lived in town. We would go outside in our backyard. It was completely fenced. It was big. And she would have her soccer ball there and she would play for hours soccer. She'd push that ball around and she'd be screaming the whole time. She was super vocal when she would play. I don't know if I have a video of it. I probably have some pictures of it. If I do, I'll try and put them in here. But yeah, she used to play soccer all the time and kept herself busy that way. And then we used to take her places. Sam loved her so much. He used to take her swimming. He used to take all of her dogs swimming. And she would go, she was... She was such an accomplished swimmer. She would go out and he would throw a stick into the water and she would jump in and she would do figure eights until she found the stick. So she had like a pattern and she would do a figure eight until she found the stick, grab it and bring it back. She was incredible. It, we had so much fun with that dog. Like it's dogs like that that really bring you out because you get to go out with them and do stuff with them. And it's the same with YouTube. YouTube makes us have to go out there and do more things and be together more and have more experiences. And that's one thing I really love about this job. But I am really excited about her puppy and hopefully she shares it. That's my only concern. All right, so I am getting so super nervous about the COVID-19. More information it just keeps coming out every day and the reason it ends up killing people that are susceptible to it is that it solidifies in your lungs. It's mucus. It goes down into your lungs and solidifies. So drinking a lot of hot fluids and a lot of hot drinks apparently can help you so scary it's not that scary for me even though i'm 50 but sam has a really bad problem had really bad asthma as a child and sophie was even more sick than him he she's had 
pneumonia at least three times and when she was really little the doctor said like when you have a pneumonia this many times it can kind of weaken your lungs a bit and make it harder for you to fight things which did happen she's dude rocking it now though but I don't want to test the theory and put her up against something like that or Sam so so we're gonna start staying home all the time but um, obviously we're not staying home right now because we're in the car um, so basically what happened is that you know, you guys know Nick and Jesse, Nick, my son, baby Jack's parents. Uh, Jesse is pregnant again and she needs to have her anatomy scan. She's 20 weeks pregnant, or almost 20 weeks pregnant, and they're going to check and make sure that the baby is okay. And uh, it's scheduled for next week, but everything is changing. They phoned her today and said, nope, you gotta come in today. Um, so we're gonna take her and drop her off there. And the reason is, is that baby Jack obviously can't go in. They wanna keep visitors to a minimal. So we're gonna watch Jack in the car while she does her anatomy scan. So that's where we're going. And But maybe today we'll find out what our new grandbaby is gonna be. We dropped Nick and Jesse off and then Sam is in the store right now because we need a few more things like poles and buckets for our fencing to bring our horses home. And I have a new rule, only one person can go to the store. I don't really wanna take baby Jack into the store. I don't wanna go in the store. I wanna try and keep our contagious level down. So I got baby Jack here. Hi. Oh, you'll be looking so cute. Nana brought all the yummy stuff. This is his favorite food. Let's see which one he prefers. Raspberry or blueberry? I cut it in half, that, that blueberry. I don't let him eat big round things. Let me get that hair. Okay, which one are you gonna eat? He's like, I'm not hungry. You're pressuring me. Oh no, you dropped, did you drop the raspberry? No, nope, it's there. Which one? Blueberry? Mmm. It's good? Kinda sour? Grandpa gives you donuts and Nana gives you berries, huh? Fruit. He also loves grapes. Yum. Nana will bring you grapes next time. Yum. Today you're going to... Mama. Mama went to find out if you're going to have a brother or a sister. Do you want a brother or a sister, Jack? You want a brother? Or a sister? What do you think you're going to get? A brother? A brother or a sister? You want a ball? Just forget about the whole baby thing? Just get a ball instead? Yeah? Jack also has on his new white shoes that Nana and Nono bought him. The ones that he picked out himself. His mom said he, she put them on him today and he got excited. He's saying hi to everybody. Say hi to my friend, Jack. 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 Say hi to my friends. Say hi. Hi. Say hi to Nana's friends. Say hi. Hi. All right, do you think you're getting a new niece or a new nephew? I don't know. Boy or girl? I don't know. Well, what do you think? What would you like to have? I don't know. A baby Jack or a baby Brooklyn? I don't know. Looks like they've been eating their snacks. One each left. Oh! It was a so this is it? Up. It was a struggle setting it up? Yeah. That's. One. So Sam bought this a couple weeks ago, and we're gonna get like a little pad to go in it. And Gabby's still in bed, and we're gonna eating in her room. And we are going to get everything she needs, but we might order a lot of it online, huh? Gabby wants to go to the store. Yeah, because the store has more stuff and better stuff than the website. Okay, do you think you're getting a new niece or a new nephew? New nephew. Niece. Isn't that crazy? Come on, we're gonna go down and check on the ponies. It's true, we're getting a niece. We're getting a granddaughter. Another another set of Roddy lessons. <laughs> Nana can pay for, but yeah, we're getting a granddaughter. I'm excited. It's hard to believe that soon there will be another dog, another big dog here. Right, Ruby? Our little dogs, we bring them down here and they like freak out. Sam let the horses out this morning and Sophie thinks all the chores are done. I think he came back way too soon for the chores to be done, so. You still think they're done? Yes. All right, let's check. Oh, hi, I'm 
empty. Oh, it's you, empty. Yeah, you're Wait, right. You're right. It's literally empty. It has shavings in it. All right. <laughs> Sophie wins. Wow, he's so, so much faster than me. I told you. It always takes me five yeah. minutes. I know. It always takes me. Hi. Hi, princess. Guess what? Horses are coming home on Friday. How many days is that? Six? Six days. Yeah. Meet your baby. Meet the baby. We're having a new baby girl in our family, Gracie. A new baby girl dog, who you'll become friends with, I'm sure. And a, and a baby girl grandchild. Look, Mom, she's riding. Aww. Baby's first ride. So I went to the grain store to get grain today. Closed forever. Closed till the corona ends. And I, so I had to message them and they're going to meet me there today and I'm going to get grain. But yeah, and they're going to carry it out to the car. Look how happy she is. Yeah, she doesn't run away from you. Look, tired. <laughs> they they want to see the baby. I keep feeling them to make sure that they're okay, but she's okay. I know she's okay. She's got no fur, but this, this girl's got a lot of fur, but she's okay. I think the blankets are going to come off soon. The other one's kisses. So this is boot sucking mud. Aw. Yeah, she has water. I yeah, I just checked it too. We literally have no treats down here at our house. They're all, actually I have bags of carrots at home. Run up to the house and get some carrots and we'll play with them. Make her kiss you. Oh, she doesn't kiss you. Drying up back there, Sky Baby. See, there's happiness in the world. You just have to look for it. Your daily dose of carrot. Oh, bite hard, hard. She doesn't, there we go. That's a girl. See, we're training her something. Everybody... What the heck happened? She touched the fence. Somebody touched the fence. I heard a big snap. Okay, so there's no happiness in the world. <laughs> it's okay. Save the day. I saved the day! Some people have been asking why we did nothing with our ponies all winter. And I just wanted to tell you guys that in Canada, it's actually impossible to work with horses, especially in the extreme cold or when you don't have like a big indoor arena or something like that. But now that it's spring, we will be working with them. Tim's down there getting our field ready. the store they didn't have any colors so Chino is so Storm's gonna get his red bucket back his other one broke and Chino's getting green Gabby wants him to have bright colors so like bright orange and bright yellow but today he's getting bright green oh no not Chino Chino has an orange bucket this bucket is for 
Willow, who's using Finn's bucket. Or Sophie could give Finn a green one, but I think he's going to have his bucket back. Oh, look, a new puppy. Sophie, people are worried about you. Are you so sad that Gabby got a puppy? I, I got a puppy too. It's right here. You got ripped off, sister. Are you honestly, though, don't kick your puppy. Honestly, though. Are, been a piece of dog food. Listen, are you actually sad, though, that she got a puppy? No, I got to play with it, too. Yeah, we all get to play with it. Camps when I don't want to go, I'll be taking care of them. Oh, yeah, we will be. We'll be taking charge of it. I will. Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> and my kids don't share. Do you want to pet my puppy? Um, and then also we couldn't get any good colored buckets. It was black or green, and so we got green. So Chino's getting Hunter Green brand new buckets for when he comes home. The only color buckets that we could get are Hunter Green. You chill with that? Those are those are chinos. And then Storm got a new red bucket and Willow got green. One of the weird things that happens that I've noticed on YouTube is that people tend to project their emotions onto other people. Just like people say I project my emotions onto my horses. But it's true. A lot of people were worried and concerned about Sophia and said she looked sad and she was upset, but she's not. She's excited. This is like a thing for our whole family. And how we raise our kids is that we don't sing we don't single one out. Even though you guys might think that we do, we don't. All of our kids have always been given things equally. All of my kids have very little sibling rivalry because we've always treated them in a way that they don't have to fight each other. So don't worry about Sophia. I have something special planned for her birthday too.